displacement of a particle executing SHM is given by y t equal to k sin mega t. The question is to find expression for velocity and acceleration of the particle at any instant. For velocity d by dt of yt can substitute d by dt of a sin omega t. A is a constant, will go outside. d by dt of sin omega t. So if you are not math, you have to learn note on differentiation d by dt of sin omega t will become directly cos omega t then we multiply the omega the constant part along with the sign so it is a chain differentiation in Mathematics, if you are not maths, just learn directly. Whatever along with time, you have to multiply after that. So if you substitute that here, this will be A into omega cos omega. Now, you can get cos omega T S. This is one relation actually for the velocity. Uh, we can have a change for this. This will be the omega cos theta is normally root of 1 minus sin square theta. <coughs> if y equal to a sin omega t. From this you can get y upon a will be sin omega t. So you substitute that here. A omega root of 1 minus sin square will be y square by a square. Taking LCM dt is equal to a omega root of s square minus y square by s square that can come out as a. The second expression for velocity is omega root of s square minus y square. This is used for numerical questions involving displacement where there is no time is given and the first one is used for questions involving time there is no displacement given this is the first part to find the velocity uh, to go for acceleration now acceleration you, to, you need to differentiate once more the velocity what you got so acceleration of any particle executing SHM is equal to d by dt of the velocity. We already have the velocity as a omega cos omega t here. d by dt of a omega cos omega t. a omega comes out. Now cos omega t you differentiate. Uh, like sin omega t, we learned the rule. You have to make again another note. d by dt of cos omega t will become minus sin omega t. And you have to multiply again with omega. So, 
k omega into minus omega sin omega is equal to minus omega square a sin omega that's acceleration one relation now if you substitute a sin omega t s by look at the second relation minus omega square by so that's a second relation for acceleration if a graph is asked for both velocity is a cos function acceleration is a negative sign function displacement is a sign function so this is a graph for displacement graph for velocity if they ask it for the graph acceleration with respect to time for displacement for velocity acceleration displacement is a sine function so it follow the sine curve this is t this is t by 2 and this will be a same here as minus a because amplitude is a now for Uh, velocity is a cos function. Cos function starts from maximum, coming back to zero, then negative maximum. You can complete for what? Where it complete one? That point is t. Where it complete half? It is t by two. This is amplitude is a omega, and here is minus a omega. For acceleration, it's a minus sine function. So sine function is going plus plus than minus. Negative sine function will start like this down first. Come back. One oscillation completed is t. Half oscillation is t by two. The uh, omega square a part is the amplitude. This is minus omega square. The graph is to be done only if they ask. Okay. 